In this quick video, we're going to walk through how to set up your calendar integration on Calendly. It's relatively simple, but you might just need a little bit of extra help doing that. I love Calendly. I use the pro version of Calendly uh, that allows me to set up as many meetings as I want and do kind of um, a couple different you know, custom things. But even with the normal version, it gives you a few uh, events. And to make sure that those events where you can book time does not get double booked with whatever things you already have going on in your calendar. You want to make sure that it is integrated with some kind of calendar. So like Google Calendar, I use this and I actually make sure that everything that I'm doing is in this calendar for the most part. So that if someone is trying to schedule some time with me, uh, it will show that I don't have any time available. Or when I do have time available, it's very specific. And when I when someone goes ahead and books, it books directly onto my calendar. Like you can see this event here that was booked directly onto my calendar. They get a notice, I get a notice. Uh, it's super easy. If you're using Calendly or interested in using Calendly, you already know all of this. But the simple thing is if you're on your desktop, just log into Calendly and then go up here to account and then scroll down to calendar connections. It's a little tricky to find if you uh, are looking for it. And then here, if you already have a calendar connection, it will show up right there. And if you need to set up a new one, you will say add calendar account. And then it gives you a couple options, Google Calendar, Office 365, Exchange Calendar, uh, the Outlook plugin, which is only for the older versions of Outlook. And I'm on a Mac, so it's not available anyway. Uh, and then the iCloud Calendar. So the most common uh, most common ones are definitely going to be Google Calendar or the iCloud Calendar, which is also called Apple Calendar sometimes. But also some people might have these other options as well. If you work in a business, you may have Exchange Calendar. And if you're in a big enterprise organization, you may need to have your IT department set that up for you. So all you're going to do is click connect. And then what it's going to have you do is just log in to your account. Let me see if I even uh, know my password. I don't think that I do. Nope, that's not my password. Uh, I have no idea what that password is. But basically, what's going to happen is it'll just go through to the next screen, which is this. Um, and it allows you to check for conflicts on this calendar. And then it also allows you to if you need to have a separate calendar where it adds events too. Ideally, you should have both of these happening on the same calendar, but there may be circumstances where your check, check for conflicts is a different calendar. Maybe you don't have all of your events on there or you have more events on there um, than where it adds to, adds to your calendar. It's nice to have both because then if people are booking appointments, you don't have people double booking you. Um, and that's kind of the key part of Calendly. So again, all you're doing is going up here to accounts, up in the top right, clicking on that and clicking on calendar connections and then choosing and then choosing which thing you want where it says add calendar account. And that's it. Hope that was helpful.